Is, do I have to put that on my to-do list now? Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> among other things, yeah. Oh, right? Okay, right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's talk about your forecast today. So when I left you, we were talking about national temperatures. So again, for us, 90 today, 73 in L.A., 96 in Las Vegas, 106 today in Phoenix. I mean, they've had a horrible summer when you start talking about heat. 103 in El Paso, 103 in Dallas, 100 in Houston, upper 90s in Little Rock. Why is she talking about these triple digit highs? Well, because a lot of the heat that we have right now down in parts of the south and southwest could be trickling in our direction. Our long range temperature outlook, at least for the next six to 10 days, showing hot temperatures down in Texas, warmer than average temperatures coming in for California, Oregon, Washington, and the parts of Idaho. As we move through the next couple of days, this high pressure system that that's causing the heat is going to start to migrate ever so slowly to our area. We call that retrograding, right? The opposite of forward progression kind of backs up a bit. That's going to warm us up heading into Saturday, Sunday and Monday. And when I say warm, it's a minor warm up. Uh, we're not talking about triple digits, but warmer than today. Today coming in around 90, Thursday 88, Friday 90 degrees, lower 90 Saturday. And there's that warm up we were talking about heading into Sunday and Monday. Should be relatively short lived. We're back in the lower 90s on Tuesday. Also warming up foothill locations, but you're just warming from the lower 80s to the upper 80s uh, for the Sierra, the lower 70s on Wednesday to the upper 70s coming in for the tail end of the weekend. For the Delta, you're warming up as well. Mid 80s today, lower 90s, Thursday, Friday and Saturday with the mid 90s coming in Sunday and Monday, all complements of that high pressure system.